Thank you, Rosie. And now we say together in faith. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. We believe in God the Father who created all things. For by his will they were created and have their being. We believe in God the Son who was slain. For with his blood he purchased us for God from every tribe and language, from every people and nation. We believe in God the Holy Spirit. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. Even so, Lord come, Jesus, Lord come. Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're now on page seven. And David is going to pray for us and read. Dear friends, on the way to Emmaus, Jesus unlocked the scriptures for the two disciples then revealed himself in the breaking of bread. As we long to be fed again together by word and sacrament, let us pray for a world hungry for good news. Grant that we be renewed in the light of the risen Christ as agents of God's new heaven and new earth. We pray for and give thanks for all who bring us hope and comfort and joy in this time of upheaval. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who profess faith in Jesus Christ. May the coronavirus pandemic bear fruit in new ways of being the church together. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our government and for economic and social leaders as they discern the road to recovery. May they help us imagine and work for a new society of justice, compassion and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for parents struggling with homeschooling and for teachers and staff at schools that are open. We remember Ms New, the head teacher, and the staff at our parish school, St Jude's. May they be sustained in meeting new challenges. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who are financially insecure but ineligible for government support. May ways be found to alleviate their plight. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those whose mental health is under threat from confinement and social isolation. May they find the support they need to keep their peace of mind. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are sick or recovering from illness and for those who care for them. William, Dorothy, Francine, Corey, Lorraine, Andy, Erklin, Anita, Annette R, Donna, Damien, Barry Thorley, Maggie, Sally, Ahmad, Vicky, Mark Thomas. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the residents of care homes. May they be well cared for as they suffer the pain of separation from loved ones. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the recently deceased, especially those who have died from the virus, for their families and friends, that they may be comforted in their grief. We pray especially for Mike Beerman, Philip's brother-in-law. And we pray for those whose anniversary of death occurs at this time. 
Raymond Dennis and Agnes Price. May they live with the risen Lord and all the saints in the glory of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Life-giving God, in the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you have brought a new world to birth. Grant that we may walk close to you on the road that leads to eternal life. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a psalm of thanksgiving. I'm now going to prepare for the communion and get everything ready, lay the table. Let's say, blessed be God, together, shall we? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness this wine we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of our hands, it will become the cup of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. To, to you, you be, be glory, glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. To, to you, you be glory, glory and, and praise forever. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. To, to you, you be glory, glory and praise, praise forever. forever. And now we give you thanks, because in his victory over the grave, a new age has dawned. The long reign of sin is ended, a broken world is being renewed, and humanity is once again made whole. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant us, by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. To you be glory and praise for ever. In the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, Drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. To you be glory and praise forever. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and his glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us with your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. To, to you be glory and praise forever. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing, Blessing and, and honour and, and glory and power for be yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though, Though we, we are many, we are one body, body because, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Draw near with faith. Receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith and with thanksgiving.
say the prayer after communion, which is based on the pew sheet um, on the final page of the Sunday sheet, page 30. Let's say it together, shall we? Living God, your Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith that we may see him in all his redeeming work who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. And we say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.